Here at 20 Minutes Underground, we specialize in efficiency. Not just in reptiles, but in scalloping. Pretty much anything edible, we're efficient at. We know how to eat, we know how to clean, and we know how to tear up scallops. We're going to show you guys right now the efficient way to clean, cook, eat a scallop. Scrape the top, a little bit of guts, slide right off. Give it to my man Jonah for final production, quality testing, and every once in a while, a taste. Mm, yum. Mm. Only. Oh. At 20 minutes on the ground. Here we are in backwoods, north of Florida somewhere. I can't tell you where because of laws and restrictions. This little cicada, cicada, cicuda, just came up upon me. I've been tickling it and making it make noise. <laughs> where are you going? Freaking dad, no. Dad, stop. Fly. There you go. It flies on me, a dead man. More videos to come. Some ground reptiles. Uh, Mid June, late June. <laughs> new box turtle pen that we just built for the new property. You guys that have been following us, been a part of it. The one dilemma we have is how are we going to find the babies when they start hatching, if they start hatching. You get crazy in your brain, you think, I'm never going to hatch nothing. So we're looking through the pen, we're going to see a rock. That's a rock. <laughs> it's adorable. It's adorable rock. And you look around the edges, my well, goodness, they could hide anywhere. I mean, look, look how the adults hide. Right in plain view, and, and you never see it. Look at this one here. This one there. So, I mean, their ability to hide is amazing. See, we have to rake the whole thing up. See, I was hoping that, like in the other one, the babies would all hide in the corners of the boxes, and then that's where we'd find them. Hey, come around here, look. I don't want to touch the spider. I'll go <laughs> this way. First one of the season, guys. Here it is. Get a close up on this. Baby turtle. Baby box turtle. And, and show these, these turtles over here. Look how these hanging out here. Now what you have here is a mixture of Floridas, Easterns, three toes, just a, a whole conglomerate of, of guys that are doing natural things. And there's the baby. How beautiful is that? Nice hard shell already. Look at that. All right, so we'll be checking every day now. Looks like baby box turtle season has started. Only the underground reptile. What you doing, Jonah? Looking for babies. How you doing babies, that? Box turtles. Tell, 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 tell everybody. What am I telling you? What are you doing? And how you doing it? Well, I'm raking up all this hay, looking under dirt, underneath rocks. What are you looking for? for? Boxes. What you got there, Dominic? Baby box. What? A baby box, right here. Turn it sideways. Look at that, let's see the top. 
baby box turtles. So it's July 2016. Out. There he goes. Looking for baby box turtles, and this is how we roll. That's how we roll, son. Get right. Know that. See if you can find one while, while, while we're filming. I know some people that hate you right now. Ah, look at that little tiger. We keep him in his natural possible environment. We do not harvest the eggs. We let the eggs incubate naturally. As you can see, we put pine needles and hay down so that the babies have plenty of places to hide. It's probably not the easiest way to do it, but uh, thank you. But the babies are strong and healthy when we get them out. And we are 100% captive bred. Let's see it one more time. Boom! Only at Underground Reptile. What's up, guys? Out here in the box turtle pen. So around this time of the year, all the box turtle babies are coming out the eggs. And sometimes they're underground. Probably like an inch or two under the soil. So inside here, we got all the pine shavings that fall down, pine needles, and we rake up against the edge real lightly and see which ones are scurrying around. Because around this time of the year, they're coming out, like I say. Oh, look at this. So I raked this back. You got a little baby right here, and his shell, his shell is still soft. He just, come out he just came the out of the ground. And we got heavy rains yesterday and today. Oh, look, another one. Serious? Yep. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Another one? Oh, running, running. We didn't even see him. There's three already. Is there one over there? Yep. Up, oh, up top, up top, right up top. Where? Bro, up right above your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they blend in almost. Yeah. That's four. I just found two in this little small crevice right here. Now the reason guys that it's it, we're getting so many is because it just rained. We just had a heavy rain and the rain softens the ground and scares them up. So we're going to continue to keep digging and we'll let you know how we make out. Nora! Look at Nora behind the fence. What are you doing Nora? You going to help us find box turtles? Nora. See anyone? Push it back in case any more want to come up and take a nice deep breath. Give them some shade and some foliage from any birds of prey. Because, you know, we do, the, do this outside. And just keep raking until we find some. How cool is this to just uh, have a, you know, 30, 40 box turtles inside of a outdoor enclosures let them do their thing when you come out around the same time in the year every year and just rake until you find their babies like that's amazing you can't get no better than that there ain't nothing cuter than a little baby box turtle too they got different different crosses and that's a florida Oh. No, it's just an eastern walking. There's an eastern or a three toe, one of the two. There's a couple, there's a three toe in Florida and a, an ornate. That's an ornate 
and the three toe. That's another Florida. Under the water there, you guys can see I think that's an Easton. It's a big pen. It's a 30 foot by 30 foot. We left everything natural. If you guys, the follow up videos, see them. No more? Nope, no more. Well, I think four is a good afternoon. Yeah, not too bad. Can't argue with that. All right. Over and out. Well, that's 20 minutes underground. Hope you enjoyed the show. Keep those comments coming and going. Because the only reason we do the show is so that you guys can have a good time as we have a good time. This week's question of the week is, where's the strangest place that you found a reptile or amphibian that you didn't expect to, or even an arachnid or a mammal? Let me give you a for instance so that you guys can keep your stories straight. Well, I've been on this trip. I decided to go for a prayer walk. So I was walking up the road. I didn't have nothing on me. I was wearing a pair of shorts and barely a t-shirt just praying, talking to God, and all of a sudden, right there in front of me, on the floor, was a red eft. And I thought, bro, this is the coolest thing in the world. While we were tubing, Austin picked up a water snake one time, a turtle another time. We didn't expect, and we didn't even have nothing to put him in. It was catch and release. So we want to hear. While you were deer hunting, you came across this. A friend of mine one time was, uh, was shooting uh, quail, and he found like a three-foot indigo. That was pretty cool. So where's the strangest place, or should I say, when you were doing one thing and you got another thing, all right? I think you got the message. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. God bless you. Peace.